What's happening, everybody? Brian here on Network 126. Just on my way to work here, my new Amazon job. Just had a few things to say. Just how our world works, how we survive, how we make money. You know, I just can't help but think about like just where we are in general with society that we have to work so damn much. Now, I'm not complaining about working. See, I get it. Contribute to society, work, be productive. That's all good. That's all great. My only issue, my only hang up is why we got to work so damn much just to have the basics, food, shelter, vehicle, transportation, whatever. I mean, I'm working 10 hour days, four days a week. And I was actually going to do this video when I got home yesterday, or rather, should I say that early this morning and I knocked out. <laughs> I was just that tired. That's pretty much just what I wanted to talk about today is just my general gripe about why we have to work so damn much. How did we get to this point in society where we have to basically live at work, you know, being at work all damn day long, working, 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 busting our ass, you know, come back home, sleep, get up, do it all over again with hardly any time to myself, like to be able to do anything. Happy to have this job at Amazon, but I'm just saying, you know, it's just the way it is. I, I could be working anywhere. It doesn't have to be Amazon. I mean, this is kind of how it was at my previous warehouse job where I just felt sometimes like I was just always at work, always at work, you know, sometimes we'd have shorter days and I get to come home kind of early and, you know, actually have some time to myself to relax and stuff, but that's not all the time. It's like, you know, every once in a while, you know, I'm going to have like three days off a week, but I, I can already see myself. I'm going to be spending a lot of that time trying to recover. All the time and tired. I mean, this is barely like my third official day working and I'm already starting to feel pretty beat, pretty worn out. And I'm starting to feel already like I'm like always at work. <laughs> Cause it feels like I just barely got back. You know, got a little bit of sleep and now I'm already, you know, having a shower and show back up to work already. I'm already on the freeway right now, going back to work. Work. And she was saying, well, but that's how it is to have a job. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, I know, I get that, but it, it shouldn't be like that. And she was telling me too, like, that's why I prefer part-time because I don't like to, to feel like I'm always there at work. And yeah, I'm sure that's a sentiment that a lot of people feel. I'm not the only one, she's not the only one. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there feel the same way. It's just that we've become kind of accustomed to it now within society that it's just kind of, it's just become the norm. So I'm sure a lot of you guys also hear me talking about all this and you're probably just saying, well, big deal, suck it up, you big crybaby. I mean, I understand where that's coming from because we see that as a norm. In perspective, you only live once. You only have so much time to be alive, especially being young. You only have a brief period of your life to be young, where you can do things, where you have energy. For example, I've come across quite a few articles now that I've read that were put together basically by a bunch of nurses that have actually worked in hospitals with dying patients. And after so many years of working in that field, all these nurses started noticing common trends, common regrets that a lot of patients had, you know, basically on their deathbed. And one of the number one things that they regret about their lives was that they were working so damn much Instead of spending time with their loved ones, spending time with their families, their friends, you're just going out, having life experiences, getting out there, just living life, feeling alive. These people basically feel like they've spent too large of a chunk of their lives working, you know, missing their kids or grandkids or whoever's, you know, sporting events, graduations, all that kind of stuff, or even just missing them, seeing them grow up, that kind of thing. You're just going out with friends and, you know, forming those connections in life and, well, you know what I'm trying to say. Life is about living, <laughs> not working, 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 working. At least it should be. You know what I'm trying to say here? You know, I just feel like there needs to be more of a balance, like a work-life balance. Well, like, yeah, we should be working and being productive, but just let, our, let us have our lives as well so we can, you know, actually enjoy life. 